this video, I'm going to show you how to manage OneDrive settings for your tenant. Go to portal.office.com and log on using your tenant admin account. Multi-factor authentication kicks in. Okay, approve. Click admin. If you don't see admin here, click on the workflow. Show all. Scroll down and click all admin centers. Click OneDrive. A lot of settings here and they will affect your whole tenant. I'm going to show you some important settings. Sharing. Links. Here you can set what the default link type one uses share items. I will keep the most permissive setting. Let's look at the advanced settings for shareable links. Here you can set the days of expiration for shared link. You could enter minus one to never expire. I would recommend them 30 to 90 days for expiration. Your policy might be different. You can change the permission of the links. External sharing settings are here. Most permissive to least permissive. If you set it here, you are not allowing external sharing at all. One thing to note here, behind the scene, OneDrive uses SharePoint. So OneDrive settings cannot be more permissive than the SharePoint. More advanced settings here. You can allow a block based on domain name. Do you want to allow external users to share their items with more people? Don't forget to save your changes. Next item is Sync. You can hide the Sync button on the OneDrive side. You can require the domain membership of the devices. Storage. Here you can limit the storage space for your users. Most subscription plans come with 1TB of storage. Here you can set the data retention duration for deleted users. Device access will give you more access control. You can limit access by IP. Here are settings for mobile app. A lot of settings here, but Intune policies will take precedence. Notifications. To help your users manage access to their files, OneDrive will send notifications. You should turn on all these notifications. I hope this has been informative for you. Thank you for watching.